In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of your driver using batteries. We're going to use a process called anodizing, and it doesn't take any special skill. It doesn't take any special equipment. We're only going to use batteries, distilled water, and some baking soda. That's it. Now this works on all titanium golf clubs. An iron, a driver, it doesn't matter as long as it's titanium. So let's get started and I'll explain what's going on as we do the experiment. First thing you need is a bunch of nine volt batteries. You're gonna need some sort of non-conductive container. This is glass, you can cut a plastic jug, you can use a tote, it doesn't matter. You're gonna need a piece of scrap metal. This is a piece of stainless steel. You could use a spoon. You could use anything, as long as it's metal. You're gonna need some wires. These are some alligator clips that I have. And then for fun, I have a Callaway logo that I'm gonna put on the face to show you how we can do fades. We can leave some patterns in our design. This is gonna be really cool. If this thing sticks, I think it's old. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some distilled water to our container. You don't need a lot, and I'll tell you why. Now the club head here in this example is buoyant, right? So when I put it in the water, it's gonna float. So I need to push it down, and when I push it down, it's gonna displace some of this water and move it up. So you don't need to fill this to the top, you just need enough to cover the place that you want to add it up. Okay, then we're gonna add some baking soda to the water. I'm sure there's some scientific measurement that we need to do, but if you know me by now, you know I don't measure anything, I don't weigh anything. The scientific measurement for this experiment is add some. Some. We're going to attach the negative side of the battery to this piece. The negative side of the battery is labeled with a minus sign. The positive has the plus sign. All batteries have this on there. Negative, positive. The negative side is going to connect to our piece of scrap metal. So let's get started by putting this wire onto our scrap metal. Then we're done with that step. Done. Okay, it's sitting in the water, and what's gonna happen is the current flows through this electrolyte. The water molecules will break up into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is what's going to attach to the surface of the titanium and change the color, okay? The hydrogen is gonna just go in there and turn into water vapor when it attaches to another bit of oxygen. That is my Grand Rapids public school education explanation of what we're doing today. Off to the side, I'm gonna have another container here that I'm used just for rinsing. So any container, doesn't matter, stick it off to the side, fill it with a little distilled water. Now to add a little effect or pizzazz to my thing, I'm going to put this Callaway logo on the face. And we're gonna mask off an area isn't going to be affected by the oxidation. Then I'm going to peel this off and we're going to change the color underneath that thing. This is going to be bad. Let's watch this. Okay, cool. Now here's an interesting tip. Different textures will give different colors. You could polish it and it'll give you a different color than if you have a brushed finish or if you use a sandblasted pattern like I did in this video. The next step is we need to hook the positive side of our circuit to the club. I'm using this red wire to connect to the positive side, and I need to connect it to a bare metal piece on the club. I'm going to go right here. So now I have a, I have a connection to the club on a metal surface. Let me move this over a little bit. Now here's something else you need to be aware of. This club is not one big old piece of metal. There's the face, and then there's the sole plate. This sole is a different piece than this. 
it has been welded together. And if you are not strategic about where you're going to do this anodizing, you will see the weld. And on this one, you could actually see how far it extends down here. So you could mask this off. I'm going to leave it unmasked so that you can see what happens if you don't mask it or be strategic about where you're going to do it. Here's another thing. You can undo all of this really, really easy. And I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to control Z undo all of it. So if we make a mistake and we get in places that we don't want, we'll get rid of it. So don't sweat that. What we've done so far, distilled water with some baking soda, piece of scrap metal with the negative wire connected to it, golf club with the positive wire connected to it. The colors don't matter as long as you hook them up to the right side of the battery. It doesn't matter what wire you use, the color you use, how you connect it, as long as you have a connection. Each one of these batteries is nine volts. And if you connect these in series, the voltage is additive. So if I add two batteries, two nine volt batteries together, I now have 18 volts. I have 27 volts, 36 volts, so on and so on. So we'll start with one battery, see what happens to the color, and then we'll add another battery. The negative side that's connected to the scrap metal is going to the negative side of the battery. I'm gonna connect it like this. Just like that. That's all you need to do. Since this is gonna float, I need a way to push it down. And so I just shoved a little paintbrush into the hole there so that I can like force it under the water like that, okay? That's all you need to do. So we're gonna hook this side to the positive side of the battery. Okay. Now, when we put the club in the water, we will essentially complete the circuit because this baking soda in the uh, distilled water is an electrolyte. So current will flow through the water to this negative piece of metal. And the more and more batteries we add, the thicker that layer is going to get. So let's start with nine volts, see what it looks like, and we're going to keep on going. I'm going to move this to the side so you can see the bubbles coming off of it. Watch this. Okay, so that's nine volts. And that is what the bottom looks like. Kind of a bronzy color. Okay, so let's add another battery. The cool thing about 9 volt batteries is these two terminals can actually connect to this side. So all you need to do is push the positive side to the negative side here. And you'll see that they fit just like this. The positive side is still connected. The negative side is here exposed ready for my negative wire. Just like that. So now I have 18 volts. Back in the water it goes. And let's see what 18 volts looks like. Okay, now it looks like that color got a little darker. Now we'll do three batteries, which is 27 volts. That's really cool color coming in. Now it's kind of a purple gold. You can see it's almost like a rainbow effect coming from the bottom to the top. And I wish that the camera could pick up the color, but it looks really cool. Now we'll do four batteries, 36 volts. Thirty-six volts is definitely purple. See the bottom? Really purple. I didn't clean the bottom. I wanted to show you that weld. That is how that looks. Pretty cool. Five batteries, 45 volts. A bit of a darker shade of purple. Six 
six batteries, 54 volts. That is a really pretty blue, kind of a light blue. Six batteries, 54 volts, light blue on the clip thing. Very, very pretty color. The bottom, you can see that, it kind of looks like those Mizuno wedges or something, that looks really cool. Again, here's the weld, here's the rest of that, the body of the club. Look at that. Four volts. Seven batteries, 63 volts. A bit more blue. There's a bit more of a blue color. Eight batteries, 72 volts. Almost looks like it's transitioning into a sort of yellow. Look at that. The bottom has a little yellow on it. Nine batteries, 81 volts. This one, it's hard to pick up on the camera, but it definitely has like a yellow green tint to it. So you, now you get the idea. Now I'm going to peel off this mask that I have, this stencil, and we'll see what's underneath it. So now you can see the Callaway logo is there. It's a little rough. I didn't push it down very well, and that side stuck up. So if I want to change the color of that logo, I need to remove some batteries from my circuit because if I keep it the same voltage, it's gonna take on the same color. But if I back it off a little bit, I can take on some of those purples and things that we saw earlier inside that logo. So now I'm back down to four batteries. Let's see how this looks. Boom, it's already purple. That's cool. Now let me show you how to get rid of this. This is called Wink Rust Stain Remover, and the active ingredient in this is hydrofluoric acid. Okay, got some gloves on. I'm gonna put a little bit in my glass container. There you go. Now, this will remove the oxidation layer, but I have to be very careful because you'll start to see it bubbling and I need to rinse it. So we're gonna put it in there for about, I don't know, five seconds, and then I'm gonna rinse it and we'll see where we're at. You can see that that purple is definitely gone. And you want to get rid of that sticker area just to use like a sanding block or whatever. And go. Okay, so that's it. So I showed you how to anodize titanium using batteries. Some words of caution, you are dealing with electrical current. This is DC power source. We're up to 90 volts. So use safety precaution when you're messing with this stuff. Also, the longer you set it in the solution, the hotter those batteries can get. And you need to be careful because if they get hot, they may rupture. You can use your power supply. My power supply only goes up to 30 volts. So I can only get into sort of a purple range, like you saw in my last video. But the batteries, you can continue to add and add and add. If your power supply goes up to higher voltage, give it a try. This is a really cool effect. Again, think of all the possibilities with masking and stencils and fades and sandblasting. Yeah, that's it. I hope you learned something. If you did, just hit the like button. That helps me out, man. Appreciate it.